All right, fellow automators, I'm back in the board building section. The little Dali video I had, had a fair bit of interest, so I thought I'd deep dive into another product. This here, this is what we call our uh, floor heating. We use this as a KNX floor heating controller. It's actually called a Max in Box 66. So what it does, it receives inputs in the top. So we put in negative temperature coefficient inputs, which is basically just a fancy way of saying a floor heating probe, such as this little device here. And that reads the temperature of either the floor, be that in the slab or in the screed. And then down the bottom, we can switch our actuator valves in a hydronic floor heating situation or control the electric floor heating mats. And inside this device is the thermostat logic, the software that basically runs that. The benefit of using this in a KNX situation is on the end user's app or on the touch screen, so we can actually provide set point control, actual slab temperature feedback, and the on-off control, put that in schedules. In a generic lighting control system, you can't do that. You can basically have an on-off button, and then the, the set point control is somewhere else, like usually in a little thermostat hidden in, hidden in the cupboard away somewhere. So what we usually do is we get this probe. Now, I do agree with Dave Willman. Um, the, these pliers, orange ones, linesman pliers, best in the world. I've used them since an apprentice. We basically strip this. We connect this uh, at the, the closest light switch in the room, so maybe like the bathroom light switch, and then we run that over an instrumentation cable back, and that ends up in the, the little input section of the board here. So the side electrician will wire into there, and then the floor heating mat or the valves will get wired into the output section, and everything else just happens up here. Okay, so what this looks like from an end user perspective, instead of having an on-off button, on a Rylex system, we can come into thermostats. This is just a demo. Um, we can select floor heating, and then from here, you can adjust the temperature up and down. And you'll see this little flame kick in. That just means that our relay channel that we spoke about on the bottom of the controller is turned on. And it's actually turned on the floor heating or it's opened up the actuator valve and allowed the hot water to flow through a hydronic situation. Um, we can run it on schedules. We can put in schedules that will turn on the floor heating to preset temperatures. Uh, we can adjust the temperatures in the night so it can come up in the evening around sort of dinner time and then nine, 10 o'clock, it can just drop it back down to a comfortable level throughout. So just gives you a lot more flexibility and you can control everything from here instead of just having a toggle button and having to find the thermostat to adjust the temperature.